Rishi are back with another video on Easy Math. Okay, in on Sunday I released a schedule of my topic releases. Based on the schedule, today I am going to release a video on circles. Okay, now circles is a bit complicated from our basics what we know now. So let's learn a new topic first. And then in next video, let's learn about circles. Okay, now first, let's discuss about a topic called as locus. Okay, the name seems to be small, but the meaning seems to be big. No need to all confusion. I will explain you. Now, first, let's take an example of a circle. Okay, now let's take the center of circle as 0, 0, which is nothing but origin. Okay, now let's take a point on origin. Now let's take geometric condition of set of points who are 5 units away from A. What 5 units away from point A? Okay, then you know distance formula, right? Distance from the origin is nothing but root x square plus y square. Now if you take the distance between distance from A is 5 then root x square plus y square is equal to 5 or in other words if we send the root to the other side or if we square on the both sides it, it will become x square plus y square is equal to 25 5 square right. Okay, now this is the equation of a circle. Okay, now here we use the some different words geometric condition. We use the word geometric condition. What is that? Okay, now this geometric condition is less is related to locus, and this equation is also a locus okay now let's see what is that locus locus means the set of points which obey the given geometric condition or which satisfies the given geometric condition okay now here the geometric condition is fixed distance from a Another thing is that the geometric condition should be consistent. Can you may ask, what is that consistent? What is mean by that condition? What is mean by that word consistent geometric equation? So now you will understand. Now let there be two points A comma B. Okay. Now let the point A be 1 comma 1. Okay. Now this is point A. Now let the point B be 3 comma 1. Okay. This is the point B. Let there be a point and the sum of distances from that point to A and from that point to B is 2. Is that possible? Here the minimum value is 2 as the distance between these two is 2. Distance between these two points is 2. So the minimum possibility is 2. So that is possible. Okay now what if someone asks can you can you take a point such that the sum of distances from that point to A and from that point to B is 1. One is that possible? Can we take that? No, it is wrong because the minimum distance is 2. If they said sum of the distances is 1, where you can place that? If you place anywhere, it will be greater than or equal to 2. These such conditions which are not possible are called as inconsistent geometric condition and 
conditions which are possible are called as consistent geometric conditions okay this is the topic of locus okay now let's take some problems to understand locus in a better way okay guys now let's take some examples of some conditions we should solve that condition and we should create an equation for that condition okay now let's take our first problem in this problem the condition is that let's take the question the question is find the equation of a locus equation of a locus which which is at a distance 5 units in graphs we will take 5 units because there will not be specific units for that like centimeters meter millimeters from a from a point a which is 4 comma minus 3 okay now we should solve this equation Okay, now how can we solve this? We should use all the basics of coordinate geometry and things like that in this. And for solving problems, we need a logical thinking too. We should think everything in a logical way. Okay, now let's solve this. Now let's take. a point p which satisfies this condition and let the values of p be x comma y the coordinates of p be x comma y okay now how to solve this okay now which is at a distance 5 units from a right means we should use the distance formula as they mentioned about distance you know what is the distance formula that is root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay now if we send root to the other side it becomes square right okay now x2 minus x1 whole square means x minus 4 whole square plus y y2 minus y1 means y minus of minus 3 which is nothing but y plus 3 whole square okay now the value of this is nothing but 5 square okay this is the equation now if we simplify this we is in the form of a minus b whole square which is nothing but a square minus 2ab means 2 into x into 4 which is nothing but 8x minus 4 square 4 square nothing but 16 plus this is in the form of it a plus b whole square which is nothing but a square plus 
टू ए बी मीन्स टू इंटू वाई इंटू थ्री विच इज नथिंग बट सिक्स वाई प्लस थ्री स्क्वेर वॉट इज थ्री स्क्वेर इट्स नाइन इज इक्वल टू फाइव स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्सटीन नाइन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव गोज कैंसल नाउ वॉट विल वी हैव रिमाइंडिंग एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर एट एक्स एंड सिक्स वाई सो द इक्वेशन इज एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई is equal to 0 okay this is the equation of locus this is the way to solve the equations of locus guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button ring that bell icon it notifies you when i release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video in next video we are going to discuss about circles